Hello. Today we're having day seven of the total consecration according to St. Louis Marie de Montfort. Imitation, Book 1, Chapter 18. Outwardly they suffered want, but with, within they re were refreshed with grace and divine consolation. They were aliens to the world, they seemed as nothing, and the world despised them. But they were precious and beloved in the sight of God. They, no, they persevered in true humility. They lived in simple obedience. They walked in charity and patience. And so, every day, they advanced in spirit and gained great favor with God. They were given, for example, to all religious and ought more to excite us to advance in good than the number of lukewarm to induce us to grow remiss. Oh, how great was the fervor of all religious in the beginning of their holy institute. Oh, how great was their devotion in prayer. How great was their zeal for virtue. How vigorous the discipline that was kept up. What reverence and obedience under the rule of the superior, flourished in all. Their, <coughs> their traces that remain still bear witness that they were truly holy and perfect men who did battle so stoutly and trampled the world under their feet. Now he is thought great who is not a transgressor and who can with patience endure what he has undertaken. Ah, uh, the lukewarmness and negligence of our state, that we soon fall away from our first fervor, and even and are even now more. T I'm sorry, and are even now tired with life, from slothfulness and tempidity. Oh, that advancement in virtue, be not quite asleep in thee who has so often seen the, manifest, uh, the manifold examples of the devout. That was verbose. I'm sorry. Some of those words made me stumble. I am going back to the prayers. Again, the same prayers we've been doing continue for the first 12 days, and this is the seventh day. Then a creator, come, O creator, spirit blessed, and in our soul take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life and fi O fire of love and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own, the promise of the Father thou who dost the tongue with power and endow. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love. With patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed of both the eternal spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death the same to thee, O Holy Spirit, eternally. Amen. Ave Maria Stella. Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave which from Gabriel came, Peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness pour, all our ills excelling, every bliss implore. Oh, I'm sorry, all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt preserve us, pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Through the highest heaven, to the Almighty Three, 
Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you for joining us for a total consecration according to St. Louis Marie de Montfort. And have a wonderful day.